Hi everyone! My long-awaited Doll Chateau Ada, or Ada, or however you want to say it, has come in. Uh, I ordered her in my May. Uh, Ada was that event doll they released a while back, but you had to order like $500 or more in order to get her as the gift. Or as, yeah, anyway. I didn't have the money at the time to buy anything. So the only thing I could do was stare at the pictures. So I was super excited when they re-released her and you could buy her by herself. So I didn't hesitate and I bought her. And it took her many months to get here. I ordered her in May. It is now October. Uh, the usual wait time was three months, but Apparently a lot of people have ordered and they increased the wait time, but she's here now. So let's see, I'm sorry for the unfocused camera here. Mm, I have no idea what this is. Okay, is a half-used notebook pen pad thing. Uh, okay. And apparently there's somebody's phone number and name written on the back. Whoops. Then we have the beautiful spiffy Card thing. Very nicely printed. Love the envelope. It's nice and pearly and all that good stuff. Good quality envelope. Wonderful presentation. Let's open up the doll. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. Oh, I uh, ordered this from Ubi Doll. Is that how you say it? I don't know. All right, let's see what we have here. Mm, parts, and it's so tiny and cute. <laughs> Look at it, her little belly part. Excuse me for a moment as I struggle to get this tape and bubble wrap off. Oh, and this is my first tiny doll. So... Oh, look at that head! Oh, the horns! Antlers! She's so adorable. Put that aside. Some assembly required. <laughs> Maybe, if I can open this, let me get my first oop. Just making sure it was still recording. Um... blasted tape. <laughs> I am so gonna cut myself.
But yeah, as I mentioned, this is my first tiny doll. Um, I'm used to MSDs, and I have one 70 centimeter doll. More struggling with bubble wrap. And she's so tiny! <laughs> and how do they sculpt things this tiny? And her little hands. Adorable. Little string, little pieces. Man, she is so tiny. I can't get over that. I think I'm going to change the color of her eyes. Um, I do have a lot of spare eyeballs. <laughs> Um, you did have to order the belly part separate. It was ten dollars extra. Our head cap. Uh, this is really tiny. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put that hook in there. And it's going to be tricky. Uh, I can hear my Great Dane thundering up and down the stairs. Uh, hmm. Going to need pliers. Mm, stay. Okay, got some pliers. Um, you can't see it, but yeah, this is very tight space. The eyeballs inside and the eye putty take up much most, most of the room, so it's gonna be a little difficult to put the S hook through. But I think I managed to get it in there. The eyeballs are still in place. I was thinking about getting peach skin or pink skin. But um, I chose white skin because in all actuality I can blush her pretty much to any color I wanted. <laughs> Breaking stuff already. <laughs> um, but anyway, there she is. The cutest, tiniest little thing ever. But I still don't understand how they sculpted this. It's so tiny. <laughs> I do, I do worry about uh, breaking her tiny little arms. <laughs> they are quite thin. <laughs> she is a little flopsy. This. Let's 
So she came in October, so I guess it was about three months wait time. Let's see if she can stand. Uh, eh. She's very tiny and very tricky to stand. And she don't stand very well. She's kicky. It's kind of like one of her legs is longer than the other or something. <laughs> eh. I might need to suede her joints or something. Silicone or hot glue or something. They might have her strung too tightly or something. Ugh, yeah, she is very hard to manipulate. Of course, I'm not very good at posing dolls anyway. I can't ever seem to get them to stand on their own. <laughs> I don't know. She's she's standing on her own. <laughs> 